Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. We're gonna jump straight to business today and talk about three quick tips to speed up your workflow. So the first one we're gonna talk about is how to select objects in a very cluttered scene. So let's say that I want you to select something behind this cube and it's really easy with this shortcut. If you hold down shift and then right click, you're gonna get a drop down. And this drop down is basically wherever you clicked, it's gonna shoot a line back and whatever that line intersects with, it's going to list in this drop down. So right now it's gonna go from front to back. So the first thing that we have in the front is the cube and then all these objects behind it. So if we wanted to select the cube right behind it, we can just click on this one and there you go. We have it selected. We have all of our properties here. And then another tip is if you hold your mouse over the objects panel right here and click S, it's gonna twirl everything down and then highlight that object that you had selected. So because this is an interior scene, you can't actually click on the sky object. So if you wanted to find it, one way that I use this shortcut a lot, just hold shift, right click anywhere, and in the very far back, you're gonna see the physical sky. You can click on that, and now you have your sky highlighted and all of your properties. You can also go up here and hit S to twirl it down and find it. So that's a really quick tip for navigating scenes. Again, that's shift and right click, and you'll get a list of objects. All right, let's jump into tip number two. Let's say we wanna rotate this tire right here, but we wanna rotate all of them or a group of objects. If we highlight everything and then rotate, you'll see that it isn't actually rotating on the individual axis. It's making a average axis of all of the objects and rotating from that point. That is not what we want. So what we can do is go to our rotate tool. And if we go to the object axis tab, we have a per object manipulation. If we check that on, now if we rotate, you're gonna see that now it's rotating based on the individual axis of the objects, not all of them combined. So that's a quick way to do that. Again, that is the rotate object, go to the object axis tab, and then make sure per object manipulation is checked on. All right, let's jump into tip number three. And this one is all about textures. So a lot of times I'll find myself adding a noise texture and I'll put it on an object. So if you hover your mouse over the little icon here, you can see that the resolution is 120 by 120. So pretty ridiculously small. It's really hard to see what's going on. Um, so what I like to do is right click on here and change this to something like a plane and then right click and click open window. If you open the window, you're gonna get a fly out and you would think if you scale it up, it would just get even more blurry. But the good news is if you do this and you let go, it actually calculates and it's gonna give you a high resolution image. Now this looks blurry just because of the noise, but let's change the noise to something that has more resolution. And there you go. Now you can see if we hover our mouse over here, this is 864 by 732, and we can scale this up even further if we want to, and it's gonna calculate and then give you an even higher resolution. This one's uh, 1353 by 1028. So you can see how powerful that is to get a really high resolution version. That way when you're dialing in your noise, you can really see the details. All right, that's three quick tips to speed up your workflow. Hope you guys found it useful, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.